everyone, this is Dak13, and in this video I will be showing you all on how you can get Android Lock XT for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad running iOS 5 for completely free. So if you guys don't know what this is, basically you know how when you want to set a passcode, um, basically whenever you slide to unlock, you'll have to type in four numbers in order to get to your home screen. Well basically what Android Lock does is it makes it so instead of having to type in four numbers, you actually draw a pattern. And this originally was on Android and it came out on Cydia a long time ago. Some of you may be wondering, for those of you who already know what this is, why am I making an up why am I making another tutorial of this? I've already made one a long time ago. There's already tons of them out there on YouTube. Well, my last Android Lock tutorial is kind of outdated, it's a little hard to follow, and it's not on the latest firmware. So I thought I would make this video so it'd be a little bit easier to follow for you guys and also to confirm it works on the latest firmware or for any of you who are new to jailbreaking and you want to find a little bit more of an updated video that's a little bit more recent. So once again guys, I will be showing you on how to get Android Lock XT for completely free on iOS 5 for your iDevice. So let's get right on into it. Okay, so to get Android Lock, you're going to want to open up Cydia, as you can see I've done there. And you want to press Manage, then touch Sources, and then press Edit, and then press Add. And you want to type in cydia.xcellies.com. If you can't see it on the screen, then remember that it will be in the description down below. So then you can press Add Source right there. And it will pop up with this source warning, but you just want to press Add anyway. And then so once it's finished, you can press return to Cydia and then touch search and you want to type in Android lock, one word, and then space and then XT. So as you can see, I'm doing it right there. And some of you guys may be wondering, why am I showing you on how to get the free version of this? And the reason is because the purchased one was actually not working for me. And so make sure to download the one from the source I told you to add. As you can see, the purchased one's right there, but it wasn't working. So make sure to download the one from the Xcellies repo, as you can see right there. So you can touch it, and then you can press install, and then press confirm. And I was running on 3G, it took around a minute, and so once it's downloaded, press Restart Springboard, and then you want to go to your Settings application, and you should see Android Lock XT right there. So, first you can enable it, and then there's a little note right there, a little message, and you guys probably can't read it from watching the video. It basically says that when you apply any changes to Android Lock, you might have to press the power button a couple times and you know go to lock screen a couple times to make sure that the settings have applied. So as you can see you can set a pattern right there. I set a simple one. You have a little minimize option. You can choose to minimize no. So basically when I go to my lock screen, as you can see it hasn't applied, so you might have to go to the lock screen a couple times. And there it is. So I'm gonna slide. So when you have minimize no, then it's like that. When you have minimize tap to open, basically you have to press tap to unlock and then slide across. And then if you select slide to open, basically you have to slide to unlock and then you have to draw the pattern. So I actually like the tap to open, so I'm gonna keep it at that, it looks really nice. You can also change the transparency of the elements of basically how it looks, the squares, the circles, the lines, you can change how transparent they are. And you can also type in what you want for the text string. Text string. So you have all these different themes right here, but I'm gonna keep it at no theme. And then you can also change the behavior and you have all these different settings right here, but I'm not going to go into any detail because the default settings, in my opinion, work perfectly fine. And then you can also go to logging, you can enable it, but it's really not important. And that's pretty much it. So I can draw a different pattern, as you can see, just like that. I'll redraw it again to confirm it. And there you go. You have Android lock on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And it's obviously a lot cooler than setting a passcode. So thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been a tutorial showing you on how to get Android Lock XT for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad for completely free on iOS 5. Thanks for watching. If it worked for you, please don't forget to click that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Once again, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one.